Hi, this is Stephanie from the Smarter DC Challenge team. Welcome to the tutorial on how to use the action plan and tracking tool effectively in the Smarter DC Challenge. The value of creating a plan for your organization or property is in shaping the impact your organization or property will have as a result of your investment of time, creativity, and resources into your sustainability efforts and initiatives. Creating a plan puts you in the driver's seat in crafting this impact and it allows you to better manage the positive and negative impacts your organization or property has on the environment, community, and economy. There are five key steps in creating a sustainability plan. One, clarify your sustainability vision and goals. Two, build a community of collaborators and supporters. Three, choose your desired strategies and methods. Four, develop action steps. And five, document and communicate your sustainability achievements and successes. Overall, the Smarter DC Challenges Action Plan and Tracking Tool is designed to enhance and support your sustainability efforts and activities. The tool allows you to organize your activities and to rank all the activities based on achievability, cost, and impact. It also allows you to see which activities you should complete first. To begin, I will start off with how to find the tool. The tool is located in the Knowledge Center on the Smarter DC Challenge webpage. You can go to smarterdcchallenge.com, which looks like this. Once you're on the home page, click on the Knowledge Center, which is here in this gray bar. And once this page is loaded, go to the search bar and type in Action Plan. The tracking tool should be the first result, which it is here. While we are on this page, I would like to thank Carl Elefante and his associates at Quinn Evans for developing this tool. Now go ahead and click on the tool. If you are in the property challenge, you can go ahead and click here to download the document. And similarly, if you represent an organization, click here to download the document. I will go ahead and use the organization document for this tutorial. So here we have the tracking tool. I'm going to go ahead and go through each of the categories located at the top of the screen. Although I'm using the action plan and tracking tool for the organizational challenge, the property challenge tool is very similar with only some minor differences in the types of activities that are listed. Before I go ahead and show you each of these categories here at the top in green, I want to bring your attention to the bottom of the document where we have tabs with the various categories that the challenge features. These tabs down here include education and outreach, energy, health and pollution, purchasing, transit and travel, water, and waste and recycling. Each one of these tabs will have the same headings that I'm about to go over here in the education and outreach tab, which is selected. So, moving up to the top of the document in green, we have these various categories. The first category is ID. ID includes the various types of activities or initiatives your organization or property may complete. The action column, which is here, is a little more descriptive and goes into more detail about the activity. Next, you can see that we've broken each activity up into beginner or intermediate activities. A tracking tool with advanced activities, however, will soon be added to the challenge along with sector-specific activities, starting with the hospitality sector. So, if you are just starting off and implementing sustainability at your organization or property, first focus your attention on the beginner activities. For individuals that have a little more experience working on sustainability initiatives, first make certain that you have entered the activities you have already completed into the tracking tool. Once you've entered the activities as complete, you can move on to the intermediate activities. Make sure to take advantage of the opportunities to create and share sustainability games and innovative activities that your organization or property has created to gain additional points. Points are recorded in the next column. The points listed here, of course, match up with the points listed on the website. Next, for the achievability column, you can rate the realistic achievability for each activity. 
you will have the ability to select whether activity is easy, possible, difficult, or not applicable. An easy activity, for example, may be forming a green team, which you can see here. You can see that there's an X in the easy column. A more difficult activity, however, could include drafting and implementing a sustainability policy, which again, you can see here, there's an X in the difficult column. Some difficult activities may just be too costly for the year's budget, or it may require resources that are currently unavailable. Next, you can see that we have costs. The cost column is broken up into low or none, moderate, costly, and budgeted. It is up to your organization or property to define what costly versus moderate means. So this will differ, differ based on an industry and the size of the organization or property. Some of the activities have minimal costs, so if you don't yet have a large budget towards sustainability, you can focus on some of the lower or moderate cost activities. The cost column can also help you focus on future budgeting for sustainability. Next, we have the phase column. The phase column is for when you have actually started an activity, as it is used to track your progress. The phases for an organization are project planning, project design, project implementation, and project evaluation. Once you have moved on from each phase, be sure to remember to mark the activity as complete on the website so that we can give you your points. Feel free to change the terminology used in the blue section above the column here to labels that may be more useful for your organization or property. For example, if you are filling this out for a property, you may want to include construction or occupancy as a phase. You will also want to change the terminology in the actors column, which is next, as you can see here. In these columns, you can mark who is responsible for the completion of this activity. You can edit the headings to be any of your colleagues or contractors' names if they are involved in completing this activity. If this is a shared document within your organization, the Actors column can help with accountability for completing activities. Next, in the Impact column, you can rank the impact that the specific activity has on the overall sustainability of your organization or building. If an activity has a low cost but a high impact, it's a no-brainer that this activity should be completed as quickly as possible. Next, uh, move over in columns AF through AJ. These include additional ways of keeping your organization or building on track. You can keep further notes in the activity column of where exactly you are in completing the activity, which you can see here under AF. In column AG here, you can mark the due date for an activity and include date updates in the update column under AH. Additionally, you may include any notes in the column here under AJ. In row 9, we can see how to use these columns. So in row 9, if your activity was hosting an event on sustainability-related topics, you can see that you could add completed a brainstorm session and selected a topic under activity. Under due date, it's due February 1st, 2016. No updates have been made. And then lastly, here in notes, you can see that it says contact the sustainability manager at American University and see if she would be willing to guest lecture. So, we've gone over what to fill in for each column. Once you've filled in everything for each of the activities, the chart can really help you decide which activities you want to complete now versus which ones you want to complete in the future. If you have the tools and resources to complete any of the activities now, go ahead and get that activity done. Get on that leaderboard and move toward your vision of sustainability at your organization. It's been good to spend a few minutes with you going over the ways to use the Challenges Action Plan and Tracking Tool. We want to encourage you to take full advantage of the resources the program has available to strengthen your organization or property's sustainability efforts and receive more of the benefits from doing so. If you have any additional questions, feel free to email us at sdc at smarterdcchallenge.com. Additional contact information is on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.